Hello and welcome, this is Caravan Salon at uh, Dusseldorf and this is the stand of Ford. Now if there's one company that has come out of the Covid situation, well it is Ford. This uh, company is now, um, the, you can see lots of vehicles on the Ford basis and uh, this is largely at the expense of the Fiat Ducato but it's not just the Ford Transit but it's also the Ford Transit Custom which is now being used by a number of manufacturers which was not actually happening before. Here we have a selection of Ford vehicles uh, using um, oh, which are <laughs> Section of vehicles on the Ford Ford basis. So I'm going to start off with uh, this one here. This is a uh, from Weinsberg. Uh, Weinsberg, who uh, did use, um, I believe, almost exclusively um, Fiat uh, previously. Certainly, a vehicle of this nature would have been uh, on a Fiat Ducato. Can't get Fiat Ducatos, so we're having to do them, or they're having to do them on the Ford basis. Uh, now, one of the advantages I think with the Ford over the Fiat uh, is the shape of it's more of a box shape, which uh, is not only easier to work with for the manufacturers, but also uh, when you actually use the vehicle, it's got a lot of uh, more features that uh, the Fiat, I think, might, might be difficult, more difficult to put into a Fiat. And I'm th thinking here of things such as storage, for example. Uh, I think the storage in a Ford is much easier to do. And this is just my opinion. Here we have the width, a width-wise bed. And uh, okay, the kitchen is gonna be somewhat similar no matter what. And uh, in here, there you have the toilet. Now, uh, three um, drainage holes, and this is Weinsberg, which I'd have to say is a rather dodgy brand, to say the least. But um, that is put three drainage holes in is pretty good. It's pity if they're the old style plugs, but uh, that's not too bad. Now, Ford is giving away these things here, uh, so I think I'll take one of them on the off chance that I We'll need to use it. And now, uh, one of the uh, features here as well is I like to have a lot of space above my head. Uh, and, and if this weren't here uh, in the bulwark, uh, that would probably give a lot of space. So there we have the Weinsberg uh, Cara, uh, Cara, <laughs> Cara, Cara Tour. Thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, let's uh, go on to the next vehicle. And uh, now the Ford Transit Custom appeared in lots of vehicles uh, as of uh, 20, uh, 2022 season. And uh, the, uh, uh, even um, Trigano Group introduced an entirely new brand called Panama, which I think was due to the fact that they get this Ford Transit Custom and uh, they could use the workers to build a vehicle with. Uh, here, um, Westphalia and the Nugget Plus. Uh, this, this vehicle has been on the go for some time. Well, I, I, I like these sort of car, uh, uh, sorry, so that's not, I'm gonna, it's not fair to call it a car if it's got a toilet in it, but um, car camper sort of things. Um, Small, uh, small camper vans with tiny camper, this is the one I'm gonna call it, a tiny camper van with the fo footprint of a car. I think that's, uh, I think these things are particularly interesting, particularly for people, you know, who might use it as a daily vehicle. Think like something like this though, you're looking at 81,000 uh, euros. This is the Nugget Plus. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a shower in it. You can only use an outdoor shower but uh, it does have uh, the possibility of sleeping in the uh, roof. You can also use the chairs below to make a bed, so theoretically sleep four. I um, mean, you know, I wouldn't want to be with three other adults in something of this size, but that's just the way I look at it. And, uh, but the yeah, positive side, uh, your toilet at the rear end. Okay, 
Ford Ranger, this is a bit unfair actually to say that this is because the Ford Ranger being a pickup vehicle and uh, Tisha, which is a uh, manufacturer of these pickup units. And I'll take you into the pickup unit, which has got nothing to do with Ford, but uh, we'll do it anyway. Uh, the thing about pickups is I think they've got lots and lots of space and I think this is achieved because they go up so high you've got a fridge you've got uh, here storage uh, you've got all of this space around the table and you've got the bed up there as well uh, I think the kitchen really is quite large and it all comes within a small footprint there's a word I use a lot of. oh and you've even got a here you've even got this uh, storage there like that plenty of space in there. Uh, Ford Ranger is a 4x4 vehicle. Okay, here we have a Trans a Bursna using the Ford Transit. In recent, since I've been doing this, Bursna has never had a Ford until now. And uh, so, uh, obviously, it's a motorhome, so it's just using the chassis of the Ford. This thing here would cost uh, 79,000 euros and uh, cute compact uh, van, small van. And it's got a German layout at the back as well. So uh, lot, lots of space. Yeah, I like this. Oh, enormous shower in here. Yeah, very impressive, a very impressive show. You've got storage under the bed, and at the rear, I can see that there's going to be a uh, garage, which is a decent size. Yeah. Look at that, you can get two bikes in there. Uh, mind you, it's uh, the vehicle is a bit on the expensive side, but that is not the, that's not the fault of Ford. In fact, I don't think really it's the fault of anybody because of the difficulties with the supply situation. Uh, right, what's this, a Ford Raptor? And I don't know, looks like a, looks like a Ford Land Rover to me. Uh, <laughs> that was a little joke there, I know somebody, will, there'll just be somebody in the comments who'll make it. Uh, oh, it's a Bronco, sorry. Um, uh, and uh, with, a, with a tent in the, I mean, it, it, look, it looks pretty good, can't say I don't know anything about the, these ten, tent vehicles, I'm not really into this really hardcore stuff, and I haven't been since I left the army. Now we've got one here which has got a really nice colour, which is the uh, Ford, the, the Raptor, and I shall, uh, there's a tent up there in the roof, and it's got a really good awning here. Yep. That looks uh, that looks quite smart, I'd have to say. I'm quite actually I'm quite impressed by that a little bit. It looks, yeah. But anyway, I'm not I'm not the sort of person who buy an RV because I like the colour. Unless uh, uh, the only other colour oh, was a boring one. Uh, right. So it's a Ranger. Sorry, Ford Ranger Raptor or something like that. Right. So anyway, congratulations to Ford for being able to get over these problems and it's actually Ford which is pushing the um, the the business forward in the in the in the current sit situation uh, there's a rumor going I don't know if it's true or not so don't say you heard it from me but that um, Amazon had done a deal with uh, Fiat actually I don't really believe it I'm just going to repeat it anyway a bit of gossip um, Amazon had done it and so that Amazon had bought up either 500 or 5,000 or something uh, vehicles and, uh, and Fiat didn't want to sell them I don't know it's true I'm just just repeating things so mind you I mean 500 would wouldn't, wouldn't wouldn't make much of a dent uh, in the overall situation Good. Now, with caravan salon, one thing you do get, and yeah, you've had this uh, uh, for many years, you get, do get the, the, the base vehicle manufacturers. They're one of the first things you actually come across. So we have here Ford, and we have here Volkswagen. And here is Iveco. Now, um, this year, uh, well, the stand for Ducato, uh, sorry, stand for Fiat, 
is uh, about as uh, as big as it normally is um, th there is this problem that um, the company overall is having in uh, in production so it's not and it's not just fiat it's citroen it's P um, peugeot uh, which really it's it's a pity so here you can see there are not many not many vehicles at all Uh, this is the Mercedes uh, stand and you can see uh, many manufacturers of course using uh, Mercedes as a base. There's the new T-Class, uh, the Marco Polo module on it. And in previous years we had other manufacturers including Renault, but uh, Renault doesn't appear to be here this year. Or if it is, I, it, it's disappeared. So it's, it's one or the other. Uh, and another feature we've got here, we've got some of the, yeah, and obviously then we've got the vehicle manufacturers. Uh, if you've been to Caravansol in the past, what happened was this, is that everybody had their own place and some people had better places than others. And because of those that were here last year, got, to get, got their old places to return to. So the Heimer Group, which had uh, places, uh, the best place, or which was here, for example, was here, and it was in the hall to my right. It's now sort of with the the naughty boys uh, place, which is at the very back, and it'll have to stay there because what it's, Heimer said it's going to uh, come to shows once every other year, and it's going to concentrate on social media marketing. That's its idea. However, I'd have to say the way I and other and other people have been treated by the Heimer Group, they're not going about it in a particularly good way. Indeed, when I asked for music to be put, turned off, um, they refused. So uh, there you have it. Uh, they didn't want me in there. Uh, right, so uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. And uh, here we have, turning to the Ford, uh, my congratulations to Ford uh, for their success and so this is me in Dusseldorf signing out but not before saying that I hope you'll subscribe I give unbiased um, reviews of vehicles if you want the facts you come to me if you want some what the manufacturer wants you to believe then there's plenty of other people doing that. If you want to see how fantastic van life is, then watch some of my vi uh, videos relating to when I'm out in the countryside enjoying myself and not what uh, and not those when say, oh, well, this vehicle, you can do this, 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 and this with, uh, which may not actually be the case. So with me, you get the facts as they are. And uh, I upload every day at 21.15 UK time and uh, sometimes I even put on more than one video as well. So thanks so much for being here with me and all the best from Dusseldorf.